Same <coughs> time. There you go. Okay, there quick. it is. Pretty quick. How bad did 600 shot be? Whatever we're doing. Need the Jimmy Jets. The, the Jimmy Jets. They also they look like they look like a garden hose. Real quick before we get into today's video. I gotta give a huge shout out to these companies that made this video possible. These companies hopped on board this year to help us achieve our goals. We can't thank them enough for everything they do for us and keeping our program going. Hello. Look at you, you're decked out. <laughs> I know, I got my new 501 hoodie on. New 501 converter. Four bolt mafia. Four bolt mafia. Let's see this thing. If it's shiny, it must be fast, right? I'm totally not used to this because obviously the ring gear is on the converter. And also, four bolts. Four bolts. bolts. Thanks, Bubba. We appreciate you so much. Yeah. I guess we never really expected to put a 904 in it and that last converter we thought was gonna be the end all be all for the 340, but now that we've got the 904 going in, we gotta get a new converter. And there it is. So thanks to Bubba Rafferty Jeez. at 501. Thank you guys, that is a freaking Beaut. beautiful. She's a beaut. I hope we have fluid. Jeff. <gasps> Hello. Welcome to another episode of Gen 2 Garage. <laughs> so, is anybody going to Jeg's? I go to Jeg's every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. You've been busy while we were gone. Am I ever not busy when you're gone? Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Go ahead. Try to wiggle that. I already did. Oh. Like an animal. Look, I right. look. I, I made look one these. bracket. I, I am a bracket maker. I love a good bracket. Bracket racer and bracket maker. I am a bracket maker. I am a brack. Well, he's not a bracket oh, racer. Bracket. Not bracket racing. I have no problem with bracket racing. People that don't like bracket racers aren't good at it. So <laughs> that's reality. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, that's, don't not, that's not necessarily Don't true. get me started. I, Billy comes to mind. So People you, that talk down about bracket racers would never make it out of the second round at any track. Unless you're Billy. Second round. Unless you're Billy. Second round. I'll, I'll give you the first round of luck. <laughs> I don't care what track you go to. They're going to eat you alive. It's go ahead. Luck. Make fun of bracket racers. It's all luck. Idiots. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, back to my bracket that I made. <laughs> I made this bracket for your standalone. <laughs> It's very custom. It goes okay. down to the frame rail, but it also, it, the fuel pump, it's all in one piece. The oh fuel my. pump for your nitrous system is actually oh. way too big. It, it's like NASA bigger called, than your- NASA called, they want this back for the space shuttle. Well, it's actually bigger than your regular fuel pump. Which, it's fine. That's fine. It's fine. You ain't gonna lean out the nitrous kit, I'll yeah, tell you that. This, Shout this, out to this, Jimmy Dale. This Shout one will go Jimmy here. Dale. Jimmy Dale was like, you know what, just in case they run a thousand shot, you know, I'll supply the fuel pump for it. <laughs> He's always ready. You could actually you could actually supply fuel to the car in the next lane. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Voila. Buddy. Voila. We're in business. We are Almost saved. sold it at the swap meet too. Now these. Good thing that didn't go. So we gotta mark. So these have a certain pattern they go on, so we, we need to mark this before we Do you see how these Hair. two bolts are close together? Yeah. That's your clue. There you go. There you go. Now we gotta put Loctite on these. Hey Jeff, you need a heated chop. Hey Jeff, you, you need, need a lift. lift. You don't need to Craig Michael them. <laughs> Think about this thing spinning around. So there's gonna be a bolt head right here, right? Mm -hmm. well, look, look how close the block is. Mm -hmm. If that bolt head, if this bolt comes loose, it's gonna knock this part of the block right off. I mean, it, that's why you lock tight all this stuff. So the last thing you use on is this coming loose. Yeah, so he's he's put grease here. You always want to grease this mm -hmm. so it doesn't tear the seal as it's going in. Or, 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 or. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, that's how things are done here in Gen 2 Garage. With Hoomer. Really with Hoomer. Serious. We got to have Hoomer. Would you like a funnel? There's one right there. Look at the boring skills. Oh, you dripped it. You made a mess. Did. Poor shame. On the new converter. Two clicks. Turn it, turn it. There you go. Keep turning it. Keep turning and pushing at the same time. There you go. 
That's there, two there it is. Three quick. Right that there. was three quick. It was not three. That was three quick. No, here we go. I'm gonna. There are not three go. clicks. I nice job. witnessed three clicks. <laughs> you witnessed an initial. That counts. That's a quick. Whatever. Let's count the bolts. <laughs> Man, I done that look pretty. Looks pretty. I have old worn out used junk. You get a belly burr. Well, whose fault is that? You had to run. I mean, how nice of a converter can you have in stock? Very. Really? Yeah. There's not a ton of rules against that. No. It's really? it's the van camshaft yeah. with. I mean, minus that pretty much does 500 all the damage. lift. Yeah. My my converter's only this big. It's an eight inch. I'm learning the rules to stock racing still. Officer, it's stock. Okay. Super Whale. stock. God, look at the translip for nine thousand go. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold it. You gotta go a little more. Ow! What was that? It's a Jackson. That hurt. You're on your pin. Is it going in? Yeah. yeah it just went. Okay, so it's, it's in. It's on. Where's the bell housing bolt? Let me get it there. Go. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah. Got it. Warm up. Uh. Or can't it just be warm? Mm -hmm. What's the plan tonight? The plan is we're gonna put the new heads on the car tonight. Trick flow. Trick flow. It's gonna be my first time putting heads on a car, so I'm pretty excited. New things Torqua. to learn. Hmm? Torqua. Torqua, okay. There'll be a lot of Torqua. We have got trick flow PowerPoint. I can't. PowerPoint? <laughs> <laughs> I just did a PowerPoint for school. <laughs> we College student. <laughs> we have got Trick flow, power port 190s, port, not point. PowerPoint. <laughs> We've got trick flow PowerPoint heads. PowerPoint heads. Mm. These babies <laughs> are gonna get us into the tin for sure. Mm -hmm. You watch. We also have a brand new trick flow intake. So we got the trick again. flow track heat intake manifold. Holy crap, that's light. That's a nice piece. That's gonna flow all the nitrous. <laughs> There it's is just good. now, it's now hitting me. Like, what do you think the dart's gonna run this year? I don't know, it's gonna run faster, I'll tell you Some, that. Uh, I know the last video we were joking around in Jag saying there's no such thing as go fast Mopar parts, but I, I think we found we? them. We? Who is this we? If it's shiny, it must be fast, right? Absolutely. Yes, no safety comments, please. Hairs up, gloves. I'm not wearing a fireproof vest, though. Flammable materials. No, it looks cotton. I mean, My hair is flammable. What am I supposed to do? Flammable carpet. <laughs> wow, All right. look at that pristine so what you, uh, uh, transmission cooler line. That is correct. And we had to make a new one because the Turbo 350. Uh, the, the, old turbo 350. the cooler lines are on the passenger side. They're on the passenger side, and they correctly should be on the driver's side. So we're switching them. No, no, no. On the right side, which is the right side. You know what? You're on the wrong side. <laughs> you're on the wrong side of everything. You're on the wrong side. You know what? Clean, clean pistons. What are you doing? I'm cleaning these pistons. Oh, know. man. Those look round. We're going to minus compression. I wish I would have done this on my OS. I'm kind of regretting it because it does look really nice. <laughs> Just for well, us to never see I got news for you. We're not going to see him much longer. Let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> knock on wood. Well, knock on wood. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, wood. I, mean, I mean tonight. I can't, I can't predict the future. How bad could 600 shot be? Whatever we're doing. JimmyDale.com. Need them Jimmy Jets. The, the Jimmy Jets, they also they look, like, they look like a garden hose. They look eerily similar to a garden hose. Kometic says they want a dry surface, so some some had gaskets. They want like a copper spray. Some of them, some manufacturers want you to oil the block. Uh, Kometic wants it dry, so we're gonna get oil free. Man, look at them pistons! I did that. You know, I had to this... climb mountains for those head gaskets. These head gaskets caused some fighting. 
They did. Indeed. Amongst our group. There's yelling, shouting, throwing, wrenches <laughs> Lots everywhere. Of angry That's beside the point. Anyways. Okay, so we, we were supposed to <laughs> order these head gaskets like, I don't know, PRI, like December, and we didn't order them until two weeks before the car. I mean, uh, we pretty much ordered them when we got the heads off the car. So it was like two weeks ago. Yeah. And for shame. Me, a Chevy guy, is used to just like going to Walmart and getting all of our parts together. <laughs> Uh, but that's not the case with Mopars, so you gotta order everything in like two years advance, so... And we For didn't do that. shame. So. But the day that we were getting yelled at, they actually showed up, so thank God, or else, you know... We, we would have been in trouble. Things, well, the dirt would have been in the yard. Right now. Now, hold on, I gotta give a shout out, because Bill Tishko, Bill Tishko is the man. Bill Tishko works for Comatic, and no they're way. in Ohio. He works, he works for Comatic and he reached out to me on Facebook and he actually checked on the order and ironically that day they did show up at Jake, so. But thank you, Bill, appreciate it. You saved my Save life, Bill. Us. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, and this is, this is why I told you to order them so early because Comatic really doesn't put gaskets on a shelf. They're really made to order. Uh, now I'm, I know they have some common ones that- but Like an LAS? Like these gaskets, they are not made until you order them. So I knew it was gonna take a while. All right, so the, the, all the head bolt holes are clean and dry. So what's imperative, and we already did this, I don't know if we filmed it or not. Every time you take a set of heads off of a car, you end up filling the bottom row with water, typically. Okay, I'm sure there's times where you don't do that, but you cannot have any moisture in those holes. If you do, and you tighten that bowl, there's nowhere for that water to go, and you'll actually just bust the block. You can't compress a liquid. It's impossible. It's not possible, so. So anyway, so we already blew these holes all out and then we cleaned them with brake cleaner. So they're dry right now. And then we will use, so these are ARP bolts and you have to use their assembly lubricant. So for two reasons, it lubricates the bolt as it goes in. Also, if you do not use this, the torque number you get will be flawed. When ARP gives you a torque value, that value is meant to be used with this lubricant. So you have to use this. Now, how would you suggest it? Yeah, I put my hands in there. Yeah. Make sure I don't destroy mm -hmm. anything. Let's so put my. Yeah. I can't see it here off a lot. There we go. Up here. Yeah, it probably looks funny to you because it, it overlaps quite a bit. <laughs> That's normal. Okay. So there's three different lengths of head bolt. So grab me a medium one. We're just gonna thread that in the middle, just, just, just so the head doesn't fall off right now. Just turn in a couple threads. Okay, so if you look at this, you got a long one. Mm -hmm. You see how much higher this is? So you got long one, long one, medium, 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 and then the bottom row is all short. So uh, what's, what's very, very important is that these threads are clean. So we've already cleaned these. And you're just gonna put, and what I like to do is actually smash it into the threads. You don't need a ton but you want enough so it's going to coat the whole thing. So that's, that's about it. That's all you need. You don't need a thousand grams of it on there. So. The reason I smashed this into the threads, because if, if you leave a, just a blob on there, what's gonna happen is as soon as you feed it in that hole, it, it's gonna end up on the head more than, so I always smash it into the threads like that, so. Jeff, what's LA stands for? Luxury awesomeness. <laughs> Not luxury sport. That's LS. That would be LS. Well, I mean, oh we can my. we can just let's. How much does stick go. out? Let me see. <laughs> so we we've run into a complication. No. So our bolts. I'm glad you caught are that. not having enough engagement there. So. so we need more head, new head bolts. Let's see what's going on out here. Hello. So, it might look like this thing is ready to run, right? Wrong. <laughs> Completely wrong. It's actually nothing's bolted on. You know, this only happened because we were talking like this was going to be easy. We're going to get it done in a week. It never there will goes be no like problems. that. Wait, nobody said that. We jinxed it. Yeah, you no. did. You were like, we're going to have this thing running by the weekend. It's race cars. It just, it never works like what? that. It happens. So, basically, it's, we were filming. Look, the standalones. Plumbed. We, yeah. Really, the only thing left, as far as nitrous goes, is to wire the two solenoids and the fuel pump for the standalone. Yeah. That's done. So, Nitrous Express sent us this new kit, 
a few months ago, but you know, we just never got around installing it, obviously, because you know, winter. Um, but yeah, this is a really, these are some much bigger solenoids. Those are the old little pea shooter. I forget what the kit's names Hitman. are called. Hit, that's the Hitman kit. The Hitman this is kit. the big man kit. <laughs> <laughs> Great to start out with. And yeah. we are looking for somebody to give this to. For free. For free. No buying a shirt or anything. Yeah. Like, we're giving we're just, it away for real. For real. For real. Nothing. That's just, that's what Nitrous Express wanted to do. And yeah. No, we're excited about that. Yeah, so we got to find some young buck out there that could use a nitrous some kit. Some young buck. Young buckwheat. So we got this new kit on here. We got. We also switched to a dash six line, which actually makes a really big difference. Um, we switched from I can't remember my S10. I think I started with a dash six line, and I went to a dash eight line. Sounds and about right. <laughs> that yeah, exactly. That was a. It made a big difference. I mean, you wouldn't think, but it it does. Um, no, I believe it. So, Jeff made this beautiful, beautiful bracket. Yes, did not cut the car. Yeah, everybody was raging at Jeff because he said he was going to cut the inner fender on the car, but we he didn't. We would not want to damage the show car. Yeah. I mean, just look at the pristine paint. Yep, thanks to Jeff. He got this looking really nice for us. We'll be spraying uh, probably like some 110 in this guy. Oh. Yeah, That'll, so, that's going to make a big difference because yeah. we were just spraying extra E85, um, which works up to a certain point. But once you, you know, you really, it makes a big difference when you start spraying some, uh, some race gas mm -hmm. with your nitrous. So, um, and then today we got the drive shaft in. Thanks to Super Duty Truck Parts in Newark, Ohio. They got our drive shaft all lined out, had to get a little bit shortened, and we got a new yoke in there, because of course we had the Turbo 350 in there, now we got a 904. And I had to source a 1350 yoke, so there's a big beefy guy in there. Never gonna hurt that thing. So let's explain what happened. So a few nights ago, we were ready to bolt these heads on. Our new Trick Flow PowerPort 190s, the new Trick Flow intake. We were ready to all bolt it together until we figured out our head bolts were not long enough. So we had to get those ordered in, which that's just, it happens, you know? It's hard to keep track of everything when you're doing these upgrades. Well, we, it's, didn't, we didn't know that those heads required a specific yeah. set of bolts. Yeah, it's just something we that, didn't know that so. you figure out as you go, it happens. So we ordered in the right head bolts. My man Pee Wee from Trick Flow got those sent to us. And then we're gonna get it all done when yep. those show up. That's kinda, we just got snagged a little bit, um, but, in the meantime, we have everything sitting there. Jeff's been wiring the new nitrous kit, the new neutral safety switch, and then we also got the new shifter put in. Well, not new. well I, I say we, it's, Jeff did it's it. It's not new. Well, new to yeah, you. Yeah, I helped a little bit. I drilled, I drilled two of those holes. New to you. <laughs> so the new old T-handle. Well, this was out of your car, right? Yeah, this was out of the Challenger. This won a lot of races. I actually don't hate this shifter. I know a lot of people hate on T-handles and don't let Craig know we had to run a new uh, transmission cooler. Yeah. So, Just a bunch of nitty gritty stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to shifting going back now instead of forward. Yes. So there'll be some things to adjust. And yep. But at least now your shifts are gonna be Yes, right. We're gonna get this thing out of the way possibly tonight, roll it out. And uh, poor Jeff's gonna lose his parking spot in the front garage. Yep. Yep. 